Even though it's the end of summer, it doesn't feel like we had a summer at all. It just feels like a really long April and March. I miss my friends and my summer vibes, so here is a guide on how to throw the perfect picnic while social distancing, even though it is the end of September right now. It's fine. Fall picnics are better anyway. Anyway, step one. Arrange the meeting, the menu, the venue, and the seating. Brianna, Tiffany, and I planned our picnic via a Discord call, organizing the menu, time, date, and place. Sorry you weren't in the room where it happened, but pro tip, plan ahead, even if you're picnicking alone. Step two, get the vibes on and wear the perfect picnic outfit. I originally wanted to wear something else, but it was reportedly going to be over 100 degrees Fahrenheit today, so I'm resorting to a skirt and light colors. At least the gingham makes me feel like I'm part picnic. Step 3. Pack your things. I'm very happy to have this picnic set with all the things I need. Although it's definitely not necessary to have, it's a cute plus and may encourage you to go on picnics more often. I also have this picnic blanket with one side reserved for grass and the other side for cute butts. And of course, we can't forget the food because what else are you gonna do on a picnic? I made these egg sandwiches, which I'm very excited to try. also packed crackers, fig jam, and green grapes because we're planning on creating a cheese board. The board for the cheese board, cucumbers and bell peppers because I love vegetables, and yakult because duh. I'm also vlogging, obviously, so my vlogging camera and extra battery, as well as my film cameras since I've had next to no excuse to use them since COVID started. Although honestly, I didn't get to use it at all during the picnic, which is pretty sad, but that's what happens when you're too busy having a good time. Anyway, while we're on techie things, I'm bringing my iPad just in case we decide to watch something or I want to read. Side note, I also did not use this. And last but not least, your freaking mask, along with other essentials like phone, wallet, water, and sunscreen. Step four, go for a drive and meet some friends Seriously. along the way. I'm so excited. Step five, pick a spot, enjoy nature, and celebrate that you've reached peak picnic. Dun, da, da, da. Wait, do that again. Wait, do it again. I love to do Wait, do it again, and you're gonna do it again because I want it on Instagram. Oh my god, I hate you. Okay, dun, da, da, da. we're finally putting it to good use. And let's unbox the food. So cute. Do you guys want sandwiches? Yes, I'm so 
These sandwiches are made 100% from scratch because they made the bread too. Ooh. Okay. Let's dispose. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a bonus, but after our picnic, we decided to go to a K-pop store as well as your local bookstore. We thought it would be fun to buy a book for each other. So here is some vlog footage of us doing that. No, I wanted to get this for Brianna, but they don't have it. They don't have this one, which... You're red. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> I found it, I found it. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, that's so cute! I'm so sad. Should I get Tiffany Majesty? <laughs> Even though I already want it. No, that defeats the purpose of what we're doing right now. Okay, wait, let's look at our height differences. Okay, this is me. <laughs> I'm not even that much taller. This was my first time meeting up with friends in real life since February, so it was truly healing mentally to see people and enjoy myself and just have some fun, despite the heat. I hope this inspired you to go on a picnic, and if not, take a moment to enjoy nature. Even though in California it is currently on fire and not safe to go outside, but it's okay. Sort of. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!